Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm just sitting here on the couch. Just got back from another unsuccessful fishing trip. I've been, uh, this, this fall has really kicked in and I've been having a hard time just coming up with like some good content, good videos of catching fish. I'll catch one or two. And plus I'm coaching basketball. That's taking up time. Plus we just had Thanksgiving and that was spent a lot of time with family. So hopefully I'll get back on track soon, but I'm going to put together a few compilations like this video here is uh, four or five different videos that I from this summer, maybe last summer, of some good Tennessee Creek smallmouth fishing, just wading through. I did a little edit them to make them a little shorter, but I put them together. If you wanna watch some good smallmouth fishing, it's coming your way. And uh, I'm probably gonna watch it myself because it gets me excited about springtime when it comes up. Thanks for watching. If you're a creek fishing fan, especially for smallmouth, get ready, because I think this is gonna be a good video. There. Oh yeah! Oh yes, giant fish. I'm at a spot that uh, I fished part of this creek, but I never fished this section of it. I've been told about it a couple times. There's a public parking area here. No, tres no, no trespassing signs. There's definitely some area that uh, can be fished and it looks like it's legal to fish it. So um, in Tennessee, we have a lot of places like this that are, um, are just kind of those areas out there in the country sometimes that just everybody fishes. But it's October the 1st and most outdoorsmen are getting ready to do deer hunting. You know, they're getting in a deer hunting mode, kind of stopping the fishing. And the water's getting a little chilly. The air's getting chilly. It's like 70 degrees outside. But uh, those fish right now are really active. Man, there's all kinds of fish swimming around over there. I, I think they're bass. Oh. Oh, yes. Good fish. Check that. Out. Look at that. It's amazing. And hitting. So um, I'm excited. I think we can get some good ones. Oh, this water's cold, but I'm going to. Oh. Gotta get through it to get to where I want to get to. It's not too bad. I'll get adjusted to it, but it is a little chilly. Yes, there's one. He's not even a huge one. He hammered that thing. Boom. <laughs> I didn't think that guy would go for it. Oh man, I just get started. And oh, that's a pretty fish. A little smaller there. Way to start. Oh, oh, I saw him come out and hit it. That was a good fish. It was, wasn't a giant, but that, I saw it come out of the bank and hit that lure. I thought he had it. Oh man, this is a good sign. These, I think they're fired up right now. Temperature's dropping. Hasn't got real cold yet, but it's start. He hit it again. That's a good fish. How, uh, he hit it again. Oh, come on. There. Oh yeah. Oh yes, giant fish. Yes, yes, yes. He hit it the first hit it at first and came off. Big smallie. That's what I'm looking for. Man, they put up a fight. This thing's fight harder than a a largemouth three times their size, seems like. There's a little one behind it. This is a good, good fish. <laughs> I don't I don't know if he's hooked that bad or what. He's probably gonna come off right when I get done. Of course I didn't bring the net because I didn't want to carry it, but I sh I should have known better. These guys, if I, I knew I was fishing for big fish. This is a big small mouse. Let me try to get him to the bank. Just so I can control him. Oh he's hooked good, he's hooked good. Oh my, yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, that's just a gorgeous fish. All right, we're gonna get a quick weight on it. That's a really good fish. What you think he weighs? Three pound, a three pound smallmouth, maybe just a hair under three pounds. Oh man, that's a beautiful fish. Three pounds, smallmouth. 
out of a creek. Look at that big old tail they got. They can fight so good. It's so fun when a plan comes together less than an hour into fishing, maybe, hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I went upstream, then decided to come back downstream, this deep pool, just started waiting and casting both sides and he just hammered it. That is a, that, I'm so happy with that fish, that was great. Well, I'm just gonna go straight to my best smallmouth catching bait. And it's a Nico Helgramite. It's a new color, it's a mud bug. And I've been rigging it up a new way. And uh, it took me a long time to come around this, this style because I'm too stubborn, but um, it's been working. And plus this hook is, is a lot stronger than just the regular Ned Rig hooks um, I used the other day and it it is really strong. I've used it a couple times now and I'm confident in the way it works. And I stick it on right like that. Just kind of have the whole hook uh, exposed over here, but it's right up against it where it shouldn't get caught on anything. There's one. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh, maybe it's not as big as I thought. What is it? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at that rock bass. Holy cow! That, oh man, that thing is huge. Goodness, that thing is long. I did a quick measure on him. He was right at nine and a half inches long. Oh, man, there's all kinds of fish swimming around over there. I, I think they're bass. Oh, oh yes, good fish. Oh my goodness, a big smallmouth. Oh, this may be bigger than the other one, I don't know. Oh man, check that out. Look at that, it's amazing. Oh man, I'm just amazed. Just thinking how many fish are in here, but able to catch a couple giants. Man, this guy is feisty. Oh, look at that thing. That is gorgeous. Man, I can't believe catching a couple that big just in the afternoon. Just gotta go to the right places a lot of times. Beautiful fish. All right, that guy right there, he's just under two and a half. Just a beast of a fish. Now right, let's sink it back in there. I know there's several fish swimming around out there. There's, there's gotta be several of them over there. Oh, oh. There's another one. There is another giant. Are you kidding? This is unreal. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Next cast. Man, what an afternoon. Just a little stopping at a creek. What a week I've had though. Had some crazy catches this week. That's a solid pound and a half. Yeah, I'll, I definitely like the way this hook works better. The hook has seemed way better at pinning them and holding them on there. But oh, let's get that guy back in the water. Oh, oh, I got something. What's wrong with my reel? I feel like it's binding up. I think it was, I saw something hit the top of the water right there. I think it was hitting bugs or something as soon as I hit it. Oh, large mouth. Yes, another good one. Let's see. 
Mm, mm, mm. These things can't fight. Where you at? Oh, there's a, there's, there's three right there. And I got the littlest one, I think. Nice bass. What a day. Ooh, he's barely in the edge there. Man, he's pretty fish too. <laughs> that's a, that's a good bass to get. And that's like the smallest one so far. Ain't done just yet. We'll add this little guy to the list. What a little spot this was. Man. Some days are just not like every other day. Uh, NBA basketball playoffs are here and if you don't like basketball whatever that's fine I love basketball and one thing you can't deny is that when the in the playoffs start in the NBA they just take it to another level that is definitely the best basketball playing you're ever going to watch today I'm fishing a creek that is not like other creeks it is on another level um, I it's just it's just a special creek I've only fished it a few times but I've talked to several people that think it may be the best creek in Tennessee and that being said, I've heard that for about three or four other creeks and all of them within about an hour from Nashville like this one is. Um, dude, but I, I'm like, I'm so ready today that I'm afraid I'm a little bit too ready. I got my, my Ego net, I'm bringing the net, got my bag, fishing pole is ready, camera stuff's ready. Um, I'm getting in this creek and it's a beautiful, gorgeous creek. I'm fishing for some big smallmouth today and I'm really targeting big smallmouth. Oh, wow. Dude, I just saw some come at it first cast. That's, you know, that's usually a good sign, but they weren't big. I'm, I'm going with a five inch big bait swim bait starting out with. I got a lot of plans of changing up lures, but I really want to pull out some of those bigger fish. So I, I like the, I've been liking these swim baits, uh, the big bait swim baits. Oh, here comes one. Oh no, no, what was that? I think I just scared a fish off. There's already a lot of activity. There's a, boom, right there's a smallmouth. There's two of them right there. Dude, they are in here. But these are here are like smaller ones. I'm looking for those big ones. There's so much bait fish in here. And this water is so clear. Man, like I said, not all creeks are equal. This is a special place. Oh, here they come, here they come. Hit it. Oh, that's a good smallmouth. That's like a one pound smallmouth, at least. I know I'm going for bigger ones, but one pound starting out would be great. I've seen a lot of fish. They're just following this thing or just barely nipping at it. That's a big one. That's a big one. Big one. First take today. And there's, oh, there's another one with it. That's a big, big fish. Oh my. Oh my. Right off that tree stump right there. A little deep pocket tree stump. Giant smallmouth. Exactly. I'm looking for today oh man dude what a start oh my goodness what a start let's get over here dude this is crazy oh my look at that fish oh he wasn't coming off oh he just ate that thing this is a simple easy meal for this guy Using that swim bait there. Look at that beast. <laughs> Let's put him in the net. The way I got, the good thing I brought this net. I was just hoping this would happen. I didn't know it'd be the first fish. 
All right, I just got this new scale. Three pounds, seven ounces. Maybe take off an ounce for the uh, grippers. Dude, this happens so fast, I, can, I can't barely believe it. It's almost a three and a half pound, just in a three and a half pound smallmouth. First fish today. That's, look at that thing. That is a giant smallmouth. You just can't go catch those everywhere. I don't even know what to say. 30 minutes, been here 30 minutes. And I've seen a ton of small ones. There was one there, I think that was a bigger one. There, there may have been a couple other ones right there with it. Just came out of that little deep hole as I'm working my way upstream, hammered it. This is not a normal place. Oh my goodness. I, if I don't catch anything else, dude, I'm done. But it looks like I'm gonna catch some more. And he just nailed that swim bait. So we're gonna stick with that unless we come across some real deep holes. Oh, oh my goodness, I had a good one. No, uh, my reel was messed up. I was looking down messing it. When I picked it up, he was pulling off with it. Here comes one, here comes one. Yeah, it's a pretty good fish. I watched him just darting, but he's like, he's like, he came up like he was definitely gonna hit it. I've seen several probably about this size just get really close and not hit it. He committed to it. Super good fish right there. Dude, gorgeous fish. Nice. Thank you, brother. There it goes. Oh, of course it's a rock bass. Smallmouth won't hit it, rock bass will. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, don't do that. Got one, got the little one, of course. There's a couple of twice the size and they, they came up to it really fast. Then they just picked up and the little guy came in there and got it. Oh yes, there's a good fish. Oh yes. We've been looking for another good one. How big is this fish? I can't tell. Wait a minute. Oh man, I think that's a that's a giant rock bass. That's a giant rock bass. Do I need to net this thing? Almost. Holy cow. <laughs> oh man, last time I was here, I caught a giant rock bass. I think this is bigger. Look at that thing. Oh my God, I gotta get a picture. All right, we're weighing this thing. Probably not near as heavy as I think he is, but wow, 15 ounces. That's the heaviest, I think it's the heaviest one I've ever caught. I don't know. He is just an ounce shy of a pound. That's just a beast of a rock bass. You can see how clear this water is. It's so cool looking at it with polarized glasses. I can see all these little fish. There's a little small mouth right there. All kinds of little stuff swimming around. But this is the, um, this is the deep hole where I, I, I missed a good one. I'm pretty sure it was a pretty good fish um, earlier, so. I'm gonna sink it in here. Do a little, do a little fishing around. Maybe we can pull something out of here. Ought to be a few. There's one right there. Oh, he's pretty good. Oh no, he's not giant, but man. Oh my, I gotta tighten up my drag. You pulled me right into the trees. Don't break off. He's a good fish. I'm using a, so I'm using a 15 pound braid and I got a 10 pound mono leader. And uh, I got it. I don't want it real tight. You know, you want to give some slack because sometimes they can get you 
tangled up pretty quick or something and or rub you on some rocks but and i'm using a just a lighter wire hook it's not a real heavy hook but that's just a pound smallmouth but that's a really good fish it feels weird down down further i feel like i'm gonna get more something about up in those stretches it was hard to uh get them to hit as well These are a lot, you know, these are the places that they're feeding at anyway. It's going to be right where the current's coming in. There you go. Oh, wow. He was just hanging out right by the shade, I guess. Don't get in there, don't get in there, don't get in there. Nice. Hit the ground and he hit it. Hit the water and he hit it, I guess. I'm gonna use it now. He's, he's a pretty good fish. Come here. Oh, yeah. Strong guy. Dude, that's a pretty fish. Good small mouth right there. Yeah. Look at the colors on that one. He's got all kinds of colors. Just really gorgeous. Oh, this is a big depot looks like coming up. I'm go I've gone downstream now past where I started. So I don't know anything about this. Just a little way. I'm just gonna go a little ways. I'm, I'm getting close to being done. I just, I was hoping to catch another like over two pound, but um, they're getting really hard to catch right now. They're really getting tough in this hot weather. Everyone is middle of the day, I think. But you know what? I still feel like there's another one out there when I eat. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, I got him. I didn't know I had him. He was just all calm and everything. A small mouth chasing it. That's cool. All right, come here, come here. Let's get a large mouth. <laughs> Pretty old. Got a real bright stripe down here. There's a good fish. Mmm, rock bass. Man, sometimes when they, their first pull, you're like, I have no idea what I got. Then they just kind of let up. Okay. Oh, we got a turtle. Got a turtle sighting. Don't you get in your shell. He's trying to get away. I got you. Oh, oh, he's got me. No, he don't got me. I'm trying to get in without. Oh, there we go. Without getting pinned. Yeah, me out here taming the wild, catching turtles. It's coming at me. Oh, where's the good one? I was wondering if there's anything in that hole. The creek kind of splits right there. And I looked over and I saw this hole. He's pretty good, not giant. And I was like, if there's anything in there, he's gonna be hungry because it's kind of a small little hole he's got here. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Come here, Mr. Also. Yep. There he is. Oh, he was barely hooked on there. Pretty fish right there. How am I getting through this thing?
We're gonna go a little bit further. All right, we're just gonna go a little, oh, it's a nice hole right here where I'm standing. We're gonna go a little bit further and I'll be satisfied. Oh, there's one. Hey, okay, get off me. There's a spider on me. I'm trying to catch fish with spiders crawling on me. Oh, he's a chunky little guy. These guys are like super healthy. Wow, that's a really healthy fish. Look at his body compared to his mouth. Nice. Oh, bleeding just a little bit, but he'll be all right. I barely got him. Like that guy. Right where he should be, out on the little eddy off the current. All right, well, that might be the last one. We'll see. Ah, uh, the Ocoee River. That clear, cold mountain water coming out of Georgia into East Tennessee. Ocoee River is known for its recreational activities, whitewater rafting and swimming, just a good place to hike and sightsee. But if you get it just right and you get the water level right, it can also be some really good fishing. Let's go check it out. Right there, see a little tug. I don't know what it is though. Oh, another one, two of them. Something small tapping at it. Hopefully, it brings something bigger over to grab it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got one. Oh, all right. Oh, there was a little guy tapping at it. Well, he managed to get it in his mouth. Oh, enough just to get him out of the water. All right, I gotta get one decent fish. Come on. Or, you know, just have to turn in one of those sightseeing videos. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Well, he's in the current. Oh, no, it's nice. I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, I think I made the right decision. And I'll tell you what I did here in just a second. Oh, not bad. Pretty spotted bass. Come here. Chunky little guy. These spots are fun. Yeah, you can tell that that one, see the lines? That looks like a regular spotted bass. Those ones I caught yesterday were a, like a mix, which that might be partially mixed, but that's a fun little guy right there. All right, so what I did, I was down there, I came to a new pool. And I was down at the other end and I just hadn't been biting. The other day I was fishing a river and all the fish were up at the head of the pool. Like I couldn't find anything down at the other end. So I moved up here, it's a little walk. Another, another walk, I've been walking all over today. Another good walk to get down here and two fish in about five minutes. So I think that definitely paid off. We'll see if we can catch any more. Maybe there's a bunch more up here. Oh, oh. There's another one. Yes, they are. They are up in here. Oh, at least they're aggressive and eating. Wow, look at this little guy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. At least they're eating up in here. Oh man, giants. Oh yeah, we're starting to get a couple decent sized ones. That guy hammered it. I started just, I was just picking it up 
and then he slammed it. Pretty. This is kind of more of the fish I expect out of here. This size, a bunch of this size, just pretty fish. Well, this last spot that I was decided to come to has definitely paid off. I went to a bunch of spots today. And the last spot I come to, I'm like, let me, let me give this one try. Since everything else didn't work. And this is where they're at. Oh, oh. I see some decent sized fish, I think. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on. Yeah, got him. Yes. Yes. These are the ones I'm looking for. Just strong fish. Yeah! Check out that. That's a good one. That's a good for the Curry River here. Got him on a jig. I think I, I don't think it's on a video, but I caught my, I, I used this jig the day and caught a bass. And I hardly ever use a jig. I've been wanting to try it out. Oh no, I was, I was afraid to. You got hung up. Well, there goes that jig. Oh, there's one right there, came to the top. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I thought he was huge at first digging they're way up in this like it's getting shallow up there it's a nice fish oh, oh man we're getting a couple good ones out of here these are good ones for here yes sir oh man that's pretty Woo -wee. oh yes this is the kind of fish i've been looking for a little pound of Little pound and a quarter, pound and a half, smallies. Get them out of this uh, river. This is the Kobe River. Right now it's really low. This is where they do the whitewater rafting. And um, you just, if you, it's hard, it's really hard to fish when the water's up. But when it is low, all those fish are kind of concentrated and they hang out in the same pools, it seems like. And I've definitely been able to figure out their pattern finally of where they're eating at and kind of where they're staying at. And I can't get this hook out. Oh, I get one. Oh yeah. Oh no. It's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Come here. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Nice pass. I had a little one come hit it. I jerked it out of his mouth. I saw this guy like swarm and dropped it right back down. And he uh, he just gra grabbed it up. As soon as I dropped it right down, back down to him. When they decide to bite, they're gonna bite. Ouch. Oh yeah, that's a pretty little spotted bass. Yes, good fish. Pretty good. It's the farther I get upstream, the thicker they are. They're feeding. I'm, keep, I'm getting in some pretty shallow water compared to what's back there. But this is where they're at. He's got a tail, he ate a fish. He's got a tail of a fish sticking out of him. They're eating. This is a pretty little specimen. Nothing huge, but just, man, they're fine. Oh, 
you. I saw it. I saw him come up and get it. Another chunky one. Oh, this is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come here. Oh. He's gonna fall off. Hold on, don't come off. Dude, look at him. He just ate something too. These are up here in this current. This is where they're gonna be eating at. Get the hook in my hand. So I, I scooted it across the water, saw him come shooting out from under a rock and just take it. I think I could use any lure up here when they're eating like this. I'm just putting something out there and they're hitting it right away. Look at that, that's a pretty fish. Really dark, these are real dark. I'm wondering how far I can keep going. I'm gonna keep on going if I can keep catching fish. Oh, I think I had to buy it. Oh, 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 dude, there's a school of them. Oh my goodness, look. <coughs> oh, sorry, coughing. There's a whole school of them right there. All about the same size. I cannot, these are Oh, that was the next cast. Oh my goodness, I'm getting bigger. These are these are good fish right out of here. Holy cow. I didn't think I'd be catching this this many this size. And then I just saw that school. There's like five or six of them. All the same size whenever this one hit. You can hear the road back there. But it doesn't stop these fish from just hammering. All right gotten into insane territory here. If they keep on biting like this, I can no tell how many more I'm gonna catch. Where'd he go, where'd he go? I know there's, you're gonna follow it up. Boom! <laughs> Ow! This is like a video game. The way they're coming out of these rocks. It's like just wait for it, wait for it, scoot it, twitch it, pull it across somewhere, and all of a sudden a fish is gonna come out. All right, this little, Look, area right here has got a lot of them stacked up in there. They're down those rocks down in there. Just crazy. Oh, got it. Just a little guy. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh man. This is fun. This dude's chunky. And so dark. It's crazy the difference fishing 100 yards down that way to up here. How aggressive these fish are and how many of them are they're just up here eating. Dude, they're thumping it now. Those ones just, oh, we're about to break me off on oh, rocks. Those ones just back there were like barely tapping it. These guys are just thumping it. Every one of these are a pound or more, pound, pound and a quarter, maybe up to a pound and a half, a couple of these fat ones. That in there is probably 14, 15 inches long. Hook in there. Oh, that's a trout. I saw it eat it. I saw some little trout back there. And um, I'm, oh, there's a bass following it. 
Oh, I hooked him in the side. What's these bass right here? One, two, three, four, five. Small mouth. I saw his trout go after it and I just set the hook and got him underneath. I saw a bunch of little trout downstream. And I was talking to that guy earlier. He said he was catching some trout. Hold still. All right. Back in. I got a... What did I got? I got a trout on it. There was a trout hitting at that thing. I don't even want to catch a trout. A trout on the Christy Crawl. Uh, wasn't ready for that. Doesn't that look good? So it's April, sunny day, awesome weather. Yesterday was 80 degrees. Bad thing is a storm came through last night. It's 58 degrees right now. But it's not gonna stop me from wading in this creek. It's supposed to warm up to like 62. Good thing the sun's out, so it's gonna feel really good. Uh, the water's warm enough to wade in already. I can't wait to get in this creek. It's, it's kind of new. This is definitely a new area I've never been to. I've only been to one part of this creek once before, and I think it's gonna be good. fish oh perfect oh there's a couple more there's my little smallmouth and that's what we're targeting we're targeting the Tennessee state fish today in a creek a beautiful big creek that oh man this fish is cold water's actually a little cold beautiful big creek that's gonna hold a lot of nice smallmouth uh, two of them followed it up I'm, this area here I'm just casting up ahead of me and he just was ready to eat something. So I think we're gonna get on some today. There he is. I saw something pick it up. Is that a rock bass? Yep. First rock bass of the day. Dark colored one there. Oh, all right. Oh, check out this turtle. It's a big old snapping turtle. I thought I saw something over here. Come here, buddy. a couple times uh rock bass yeah he hit it a couple times got him though all right all right oh a big old smallmouth just came out oh i see where he's at he just he may be bedding he just chased a minnow out if i'm gonna drift it right past him if he's gonna eat it it'll go right past him Nothing. He's out. He's in the water right there. I just saw him come out in the shallow and like chasing a, a bluegill or something out of like kind of out of his area. So he might not be eating anything. I don't know. Oh, nope. Probably getting ready to spawn. It's kind of in the current. Though. I don't know if that's where they spawn at or what. Oh, I got a little one. 
Oh, oh, look, 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 look. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right, I'll try to bring it in. I'll bring this one up. It's a little small. There's a big one following it. Where'd he go? I drifted it right past the big one, and this little one hit it, which is not bad. That's actually a little bigger than I thought. It looks smaller out there. I wonder what that big one is. He could be two pounds. He's a pretty good fish. That's a chunky little smallmouth there, but yeah. All right, so I've already seen some big ones. I've been here 25 minutes. This is my fourth fish I already caught. Dude, I cannot ask for a better start. Let's just see if it keeps on going. Oh, that's a good fish. That's what I'm talking about. He's no giant, giant, but man, it's a good fish. Oh, that's awesome. This is awesome. Come on in. Come on in. I got you. Look at these guys fight like mad. Oh, wow. Dude. Look at that fish. He, man, he's like gray looking. That's a good bass. Already. This is like the second cast after I just got that little one. Dude, already getting on some fish. 60 degrees outside. It's kind of cold. Man, I'm glad I came. I almost didn't because I was like, well, I kind of want to wait till the water really warms up. Well, they're, they're out and they're hitting. Oh, dude, this is a big fish. Don't come off. This, oh my, is a good fish. Really good fish. I, I don't know if I set the hook that good because I didn't know he was on there. <laughs> this hole right here Oh my goodness. This is a tank. No way. This is a... Oh my goodness. This is unreal. 30 minutes of fishing already. I could end the video here probably. That is a tank. Man, what a way to start. Check out this fish right here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm kind of getting wet here. I'm squatting down in there. What a beautiful smallmouth. 2.7 pound, 18 inch smallmouth. Let's put it back in there. What a start of a creek fishing. 30 minutes in, 30 minutes of fishing. I've already caught all those. This creek, I knew this creek had good fish in it. And I think, I don't know, I thought the weather temperature may have had an effect on them, but no, they are hammering. And being cold, there's no one out here fishing. So I'm I'm pretty sure no one's gonna be out here hitting them. Early April, Tennessee Creek Smallies. Dude, it's good. Look at these little fish jumping up right here. They keep doing it over and over again. Ha! Huh. Little, uh, I don't know what those are, shiners or chubs or something. I ain't got time to worry about that. Got fish to catch. There he is, little guy. Pretty fish. All right, we'll get some underwater video of him. When I usually go creek fishing, this is the kind of fish I expect. I've already got room now, starting off really good with some really good fish, but I still appreciate these guys. It's fun, fun little fish. Thanks for biking. Go on about your day. There we go. That's a good fish. Yeah. Good. Come on in. Man, what a beautiful place this is. I can't get over this. Like, like right here, this spot right here. Got a little, I don't know what, if the creek's breaking off, coming around, making a little nice, but this, this creek's a lot deeper than I thought. You drive by it, and as you're driving, you just look like, ah, oh, it looks like it's about a foot deep. There's spots, there, there's several spots that have been five, six, maybe seven feet deep. Uh, what happened to his fins? Look at that. Something took a chunk out of it, it looks like. But uh, I love this beautiful yellow, almost yellowish looking bass here.
Oh, I got one. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't even know I had one on there. It was, it started drifting in the current. It was right when it hit the current. It started drifting and I just started reeling it back in. Felt a little tension. I thought it was just the current. It was a fish. There was two that I've missed over there. Sometimes it's hard to feel them when they got this current flowing and they're not, they're not just hammered. They're just kind of biting it real soft. Man, we're going to get one of them in from over there. There he is. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Oh, dude, that is a giant. Oh my goodness. That. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. Get on up, get up on the bank, get up on the bank. Oh my goodness. <laughs> dude. This is the biggest fish I've probably ever caught. I don't know, maybe not the biggest one, but oh my goodness, that's insane. Oh my goodness, you ready? You ready for this? Oh no, no, no. Oh. Ah. I didn't even get a picture of it. Ah. I was gonna get it up and get a picture. I, I wanted to keep it in the water because I wanted to try to set up. And um, they, you think they're done, they got so much strength. That was a three and a half pound fish. Somebody's gonna tell me that it wasn't, but that was a three and a half pound fish and close to 20 inches long. It was probably 20 inches long. Hour and 11 minutes in, insane. That was definitely a three and a half pound, 20 inch smallmouth. Like that's ridiculous out of the creek and uh, something I'm not used to at all. I fished this little point, lost two fish, Kept casting, kept casting, getting it in there and drifting. Boom, that guy pulls out of there. I wish I could've got a better uh, video of it, but man, I know I got it good on the camera and that it's an awesome fish. We can't catch the giants on every cast. Sometimes you gotta sell for a little rock bass. That's all right. Oh, it's a large mouth. Nice. Let's see here. He, I switched to the swim bait, wanted to try it out. I had a couple hits. I don't know if they were little fish or what. And uh, then I got this, uh, yeah, large mouth. Nice. Headwaters of that, that uh, little ripples coming in. Nice little bass. Come on. Come on over. Wow, well, he's uh, may have eggs. I don't know. He's really chunky. Pretty fish there. rock bass well there we go first fish on that lure a rock bass trying that uh paddle tailed uh i forgot it's a nico bass worm can't remember what it's called exactly but rock bass like it i watched him eat it He wanted it. All right, they gotta start coming up here. Dude, it looks too good to be true. Let's go up here and see if it's really there. 
This is one of the coolest spots I think I've ever seen on a creek. You know, it's almost a small river, but it's it's basically a creek. Just awesome. I'm gonna wait out a little bit, fish that rock ledge. That might be my last section probably, and then I'm gonna head back. Really haven't spent a lot of time out here. I could go, I could probably fish this creek for a month, just keep on fishing it. I watched that one. I saw him over there. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> There's another one right there. There's another one right behind it. I watched him, I just saw him over here in this uh, calm area, cast the Helgramite over, just let it drift, and I saw him eat it. Perfect, perfect. Oh, there's, there's two smallmouth right uh, behind it, but they're, they look smaller. This looks like the biggest one of that bunch, and that is a giant. All right, there's one. Let's see if we can get another one off these rock, this rock wall here. It looks so good. Oh, yes, took a little work on him. That's a good one. Oh, there's another one that might be bigger right behind it. Oh, my. That is so awesome. It took a lot of casting up in there. They didn't hit it right away. It just had a lot of working it, working it, working it, working it, trying to make that lure look as natural as possible. Come on, let's just do it, don't quit. That's a good fish, that's a really good fish. I mean, that's a really good fish. That's a, <laughs> that's a good fish no matter where you catch it. Oh, barely hooked in there. Dude, what a day this has been. Yeah, I'm gonna fish this section and then head back. Um, Cause I, I wanna go fish with a friend at another place, but I've, I've caught so many fish here. I'm, I'm satisfied to only fish it for three hours or whatever it was by the time I get back. You know, a six, six, eight hour trip on a day like this, you catch so many fish. Obviously they're not gonna be hitting like this every day, but this has been really good. 2.1 pounds. Two point one pound creek smallmouth Just fighting machine. Oh, what a great spot to crack open a semi cold Mountain Dew. Oh yeah, I felt good. I carried it with me. All right, I am. I would say two and a half hours into this creek. Now fishing, two and a half hours of fishing, which is not a, a super long time. The day I've already had, if I fished 10 hours, I would have loved to have that day. Um, the quality and just the fish, just and just figuring them out and having fun, like finding them. Like I've, I've tried, I've thrown a few different lures, but just throwing that Helgramite into those deep spots, just working that jig, you know, something else might work uh, work too, but you know, a jig or something like that probably would work great. Something that's in that current down low, uh, drifting has really been um, picking them up, which has made me lose a few because it's really hard to tell because it could be get stuck on a rock or have it be stuck in a fish's mouth and you don't know because they just got a hold of it. Well, I'm gonna work my way back. There's a couple spots I didn't fish really hard. I actually threw some other lures in it, so I'm gonna go back through, fish them again, try to take my time, just try to see if I can you know, get a few more and um, call it a day because, uh, man, it's, it's not even a real long trip. It's actually, it's a little chilly out. It's like six, it's, you know, you warm up to probably like 62, 63 today, but just a beautiful place. Oh, 
Oh, I got. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of that tree. He's in a tree. I got a pretty good fish. I got a pretty good fish. He's in a limb. Oh, stink came out. Ah, man, fighting over everything. Barely felt the tap. Come on. Eat it. There he is. No. Oh. What is that? That's a rock bass. I was trying to catch this largemouth that's all over there, and this little rock bass came over and got it. Oh. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, I'm watching this little, I think it's a large mouth. I'm twitching it. Oh, come on. Oh, every time I twitch it, he comes up. There he is. <laughs> he finally got it. That's a pretty fish. I actually saw him on the way up, hanging out in this little calm area. I just, he's bigger than I thought. Wow. I thought he was a little bass. G goodness i thought he was like a little 12 inch little half pound bass man that thing is oh it's, it's probably about to lay eggs or something but fat just that's a pretty fish that thing's over a pound i thought it was a tiny little bass over there yep there's fish oh good one. Oh, what no way. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rock bass in a super swift current. <laughs> that's not a bad rock bass. I thought I had a giant. Oh, man. That's not a bad rock bass. That's, that's pretty cool. A fat thing, too. All right, get back in there. There's something. Yep. Uh, pretty good fish. Ooh, yeah. He's just in that current, really good. All right, this hole paid off already. Just going super slow. Like I said, I came through here, fished it with the swim bait, and I just, you know, I can't get it down in there. And I've dropped that hugger mite through there several times. Just a pretty fish. Let's just see what this, I mean, he's probably not a pound. I wonder what, how long he is. Yep, that's a that's a 13 inch smallmouth. That's a great creek bass. Well, it's turned out worthwhile to kind of slow down and I still think there's a giant in there but we'll let this one go for now all right this was the hole where I uh, caught my biggest fish today uh, I'm gonna kind of I'm coming coming to the other side of it I'm gonna fish it from a different angle I think I don't remember how many fish we caught out here there was a few fish caught out of this little spot and I'm sure there's more so that was an hour and a half ago maybe when I came through Let's hit it again. See what's hitting this time. Whoa, what is Yes! Something that's it's not a small mouth, but that's actually pretty cool. A red is that a red horse? I think this is the same thing Tyler caught in a video of the day. Dude, that is awesome looking. Well, he, he definitely hit the Helger mite. Oh man, it feels weird. I don't know if I've ever felt one. Dude, look at all those bumps. That is so cool. Definitely a new species for me on the Helger mite. Dude, they got some awesome little bumps all the way down them and on their head. That is a cool little fish. There's another fish, another rock bass. Oh, he don't like it. He don't like it. Oh my goodness, that's a rock bass. I gotta measure this guy. Look how long that thing is. He's 10 inches. Yeah, he's a solid 10, maybe a little more. I was just laying on that log trying to get a measure. Uh, no, that's, a, that's a trophy size. That's awesome. Trophy size in Tennessee. I think I see a big fish right there where my hugger mite is right now. Yeah, got him. I thought I saw one there. Oh, that's not a big one. 
That's a good one. I thought I saw a bigger one. That's, they were on this little ledge, just hanging out, waiting for somebody to cast to them. Drifted right into them. Beautiful. Nice. Yep, right there. I don't know if I'll get another one or not, but he was right where I, I thought I saw something and they were right there. Oh, yeah, take a peek through the woods right there. We're gonna hit a really nice creek today and we're gonna fish it for some smallmouth. Tyler's with me over here and uh, we kind of been wanting to meet up and fish a big creek slash river. This one's pretty big here, so I don't know much about it. But um, hopefully we're going to catch some fish and have fun doing it. Maybe the biggest one of the day. Right in the back of the pool. He knows the soft spot where he should be there. Good fish. Ooh. Coming out of that mountain. Okay. Come on, stay on it, stay on it. This is a big fish. I gotta get a weight on it too if we get it in. I won't get ahead of myself. I, I, I got him up here, I think. Oh, dude, he's big, fat. I'm trying to get him up on the bank. Oh, man. Holy cow. Somebody's catching a giant. Got a rock. A lot of rocks here. I mean, it's super rocky. It's like just boulders. I'm just gonna keep working my way downstream and uh, see if there's a place to cross over. But I'm following you, John. Let's see what happens. I feel like it'd be fish everywhere through here, though. Just gotta find out where they're at, where they're hitting at. Right there. That's where they're hitting. Uh, not a big one. What is it? Rock bass. Oh, rock bass. All right. We're on some fish. Right there. <laughs> that's, that's where they're at. Right I, there, I started out with the Helger mine because that's my go-to lure to try to catch something. If I catch a smallmouth pretty quick, I might switch to something else, but there's the old rock bass. There's their, their, I know, I need, to, I need to reach out to them. Like, dude, I'll, I'll sell some of these. Oh, 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 wait. There's, oh, yes. What is that? Oh, that's a small mouth. I thought it was a rock bass at first. All right, Tyler. They're hitting. Shade lines. They were. I don't know how I hooked that guy. Shadows. But, uh, okay, two fish. Oh, no giants, but two fish in five, six minutes. I got like 500 things in here. What is those? I got so much stuff in here, I can't find anything. Uh, I got this is the bag I usually take for waiting and I got it loaded down today. Got guns, phones, wallets, about 5,000 lures. Even the deer like being in the creek. Oh, cool. Look at that ripple there. That's a this, like rock bed. And it just drops off. Uh, hopefully some fish start hitting down here. Oh, this looks so good. I gotta, I'm about to switch back to the might drift drifted in here. Well, you can't beat fishing in an area like this. It's gorgeous out here. And where this, this uh, river creek flows right through like this gorge area. There's hills on both sides. We fished about two hours. We went downstream and we didn't really see as many deep holes as we thought, but um, we're just checking it out. And definitely didn't seem like the bigger small mouth were in there. We would, I'm pretty sure we would have caught some because little guys were hitting really good, but we just didn't see anything. So we're gonna try another spot that I think it's got some deeper water. And um, we're kind of targeting some of those bigger fish today. You know, I'm, I'm having fun catching the small ones. I caught several, we both caught several, but, but we know that there's potential for some big ones in here. So let's see what we can get out of this next spot. Oh, it's getting real. 
We're about to go down this hillside. Tyler's super excited about it because he loves sketchy stuff. But um, all right, I'll, I'll try to show you some of this, but we're really gonna go down this cliff to get to a spot on this river downstream that looks okay. really good. So here's our hill. Nothing to it. Everybody's got their own dangerous, how far they'll go. And when fishing is involved, I don't even think about that anymore. Good Lord. Okay. Just got, just got real. Dude, I can feel the cold air and there's water up in here. Oh, <laughs> Todd just poked me in the head with this fishing pole. He's trying not to fall. He's trying not to fall. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is, this is like a real cave. Hello. Dude, this is cool. All right, I hope they're showing up on the camera. This is actually really awesome. Got a little creek coming out, a little water flow. Look at this hole. Goes back up in there at least 50 feet. I don't want to go any further than that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> School right there. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a good sign. That means that means good luck. That's what I heard. Okay, <laughs> Hi. Right. Right, I'm gonna try to catch this bass. Got him. He went right at it. Oh, <laughs> that was a good fish. Oh. That's how we do it. I didn't have my camera on because we were going through this like swamp pit through here. Come up on this fish. Dude, that's a good fish. Look at that. And Tyler said it wasn't worth it. Oh, right now he's gonna, he's definitely gonna fall in. Healthy. Healthy. See, hey, this is, this is worth it already. Going through swamps and hills and pits. Nice fish. Oh man. Ouch, ouch. You were crazy, my friend. I don't have any idea how we're getting out of here. Me but we're down here. We're down and we're gonna make the most of it until it's time to leave. I'm like covered in everything in here is covered in mud. Might as well drop the Whole thing in the water again, squealing anyways. Oh my goodness, that guard is intimidating. <laughs> He's bigger than I am. I just want to have him like hook on there and just like take off. A drum. Wow. You catch them all the time. I don't know how you catch them. All right. This is what we saw from the railroad tracks up there, and that, that big hole up there, nothing. Except for that one fish right off the bat. This right here was the other spot we saw look really good. All right, I hope there's something in here. I don't know, that's a big fish. What is that? He throwing that jig? Yeah. Oh, it's a big drum, yeah. Big drum. <laughs> All right, going back to the Helga mine, I still think there's more fish down in there deep. Just don't, I'm afraid to lose it, but I'm still gonna rig it up the way I like rigging it up. On the Z-Man, one tenth ounce jig head, open like that. Oh, there we go. Oh, it feels good. Oh, that's a good fish. That's, man, that guy's strong. I don't even think he's as big as I think he is, but. Woo! Yeah. That's, yeah, he's a. Man. 
Man, he was so strong. I thought he was like a three pounder out there. Well, the hike down is worth that. That's worth catching. Good smallmouth. Yeah, he's pound and a half probably. I, I thought he was a lot bigger. He's just down in that current digging. Pretty fish. There we go. Make sure my camera's on. Went back to the Helgramite and look what happens. Man, them things are like super strong. Dude, they're very strong fish. Your pole's like so bent over. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I'm getting my bag because I left it up here. I thought we were just going to, we're getting ready to leave. And then I catch a good one. Tyler catches a good one. So, and this next stretch is up here. It looks really good. So maybe we're on some fish. Dang, what's up with these uh, butterflies? I know they're all over. Swarming. <laughs> Get attacked by butterflies. Yeah, yes, it's a good fish. Is that a large mouth? He didn't dig as hard as I was. He feels heavy though. Yeah, there's another large mouth. You heard us speaking about him. That's a good pound. Pretty thick, thick fish. All right, we were just talking about how far we're out in the middle of nowhere, away from the roads and everything. Just look at the surrounding area, it's just mountainsides and we don't hear any car noises, no nothing. That's awesome, catching some fish. The guard right in front of me. That guy hit it hard. Are you serious? He's got the drum master. Just pull him in. There's a fish. That's a good one. Maybe the biggest one of the day. Right in the back of the pool. He's in his up spot where he should be there. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh, oh still. Nice. That's that's my biggest one today. We're getting close to I think getting out of here. We don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> Everything is we're just Going with whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit there. Let me get him back in the water. That's a good, that's a good creek smally right there. Oh, yeah, good fish, good fish. Goodness, this thing is shaking like crazy. I don't know if he's bigger than the other one or not, but man, he's pulling. Yeah, the other one's bigger. This guy was digging in there. Pretty good fish though. Oh. Yeah, not bad, I'll take him. Solid smallmouth. You know, I haven't got any pictures today. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's too late now. I'm always looking for that big one. Like, I'll take a picture with a huge one. Yeah, dude. But, it's yeah, it's coming. To it. I've caught two good ones in just a short stretch here. And we're, we're getting close to uh, getting out of here. But it's like, all of a sudden, actually, since we got down, we started coming downstream. We started getting into some fish. And uh, I'll take those guys. I'm happy with that. This is the stretch. Oh man, not that. There's one. Uh -oh. 
surprised we have a double duck today. Yeah. This is a good spot for it. Go ahead and get one. Go ahead and get you one. Pretty little smallmouth there. This little area is nice. Nice deep pool right on it. It's probably the best. This is probably the best spot we found the whole day for sure. It's all chubby. I'm slowly coming around to learning how to fish. Dude, Tyler hooked up on something. Yeah, get it up on that bank. Dude. Dude, what, oh, what a fish. Oh, man. Now will you listen to me when I have a good idea. <laughs> Micro jig, literally, uh, I, I'm speechless. No way, oh no way. That's crazy. Maybe there's another big one, he says. And then boom. Come on, buddy. Come on. And... Oh my God. Quick casting, I gotta get one. Okay, okay, you cast. <laughs> what is up with the butterflies? They love me. I got, I'm being sworn by, but must be the soap. My fancy soap I'm wearing. No Are you serious? Tyler just lost another giant. He's wearing it out over there. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I get little tugs. I, just, I want to take off with it. Oh, dude, right beside me. Look at these smallmouth right beside me. To my right. Dude, there's three of them. I don't know if they were feeding or just, or just hanging out there. They were all up high. There he is, there he is, there he is. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. That's what I wanted, Tyler. That's bigger than mine. I don't know. Come on, stay on there, stay on there. This is a big fish. I gotta get a weight on it too, if we get it in. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I said, I got him up here, I think. Oh, dude, he's big, fat. We'll try to get him up on the bank. Oh, man. Holy cow. Dude. I can have even below. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think it's huge. Every bit of four point. Give a picture. Quick fishing and give a picture over here. 4.27. He looks bigger than that, but he's 20 and a half right at. I thought that fish was four and a half, five pounds on I thought he was a five pounder when I picked it up. So check this guy out. Out of a creek slash river, 4.3 pounds of what the what, sc uh, scale, 20 and a half inches, a beast. Tyler had caught a couple really good ones right at the same size, and I'm like, I gotta get one. Boom, I saw a couple fish over there, cast it over there. I'm about to cast back over there and see if we get some more. Dude, I cannot believe this. I can't believe what Tyler caught, and then I catch, catch one like that. Oh. He's so fat. He's so thick. He's, he's got, awesome. I think that scale is off. Look how big that fish is. Yeah, he's a good fish. That is insane. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, we can't leave this spot. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. If you only knew the whole thing, everything that went into this day. It's, it's been a crazy day. Started out with me and Tyler, we were gonna fish this creek that I, I, I found a spot. We were gonna go to one spot, someone was there. We went to another spot, fished a couple hours, caught a few. We went to another spot that I convinced him to go down this mountainside. Came all the way down it to the mouth of this creek where it runs into a river. Now we can't leave. He's caught a couple four pounders. I just caught one just over four pound. And we're seeing some fish and he's lost a couple giants. So I don't know how much longer this video is going, but uh, so far it's going really good. But it was crazy, there were three of them. They all popped up right here beside me. Same size? I, don't, I thought they were smaller. Like I thought they were like- Maybe he was 
Oh, oh, oh. There's another one. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's another good one. It's a great one. It's got some weight to it. Hold on, hold on. He tried to get away. Nah, 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 nah. He ain't getting away. I got him. We'll, we'll weigh that later. Uh, really? Yeah. Dude, they love that jig. There's one. He's not a big one. Well, he's pretty good. I don't know. What did I get? I got a walleye! No, you did not. Or, uh, Sauger. Ah! I, I was joking about it earlier. That's crazy. I was joking about it earlier. I didn't even really know they were in here. On, oh, he about cut me. <laughs> they got a little teeth, so I let him go quick. But that was, that was odd. At least it wasn't as odd as the drum you're wearing out. All right, so this is how I rig the Helgramite up. People are always asking. I like to use one tenth ounce jig head most time. Stick it on like a Ned rig style, straight through. Let the hook show. So that way, if something bites it, they're gonna get their mouth around it, and I'm gonna get a good hook set on it. And the the thin wire hook you can stick through the lure without being too much too much trouble I think now they're on my head what there's one what is that I got butterflies swarming me over here another one another sauger this is on a swim bait This is gonna be like an hour long video. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already thinking like how many things I'm gonna have to cut out. Oh my like gosh. all the stuff that we were doing that was like, yeah, I'll probably add that. And now I'm like, I'm not adding any of that. Just kidding. All right, number two, Sauger there. Yeah, his eyes are not like the walleye's eyes. I think they're a little different color. But they got, they got a little bit of teeth in there on them so you can't lip them. Are you serious, butterflies? There's a little fish. Oh wow, another fish. It's a uh, yellow bass. If I had another rod, I would uh, cut him up and use him for bait. We've been getting so many different fish hit from here. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a big fish. I saw something hit the top of the water over there. Oh no, it's gonna get me in the rocks. I, mean, I can barely handle this thing. It ain't as big as I thought, but he's fighting so hard. Wow. It's a good one. Not compared to that, not as big as that four pounder I caught, but it's, oh, it's a good fish though. Threw my swim bait off. Dude, this guy's strong. He's only like a one pound smallmouth, super strong. There he is. Pretty good one. I knew there was something else up in here. Uh, what? No way. Look at this, I hooked a buffalo in the head. He looked, uh, he hit him in the head like he was going for it. Man, I think it's slimy. Does it look different than a drum? Yeah, more like a carp. I think it's a buffalo. I think it's a smallmouth buffalo. There we go. Hold on. You can't hang on to those things. He's like a two pound fish. I, I got him and hooked. I was trying to pick him up. He jumped out of my hands. That's pretty crazy. Really fished it hard. 
There is one. Dude, I just lost a fish. Came back, another one. I think this is bigger. Good smallmouth. There's so much fish in here. I've said it a million times, there's so many fish in this little mouth here. I hope everybody don't come steal it from us. Just kidding. It's gonna be a while before I get back to here. Good smallmouth. Just a, just a little one and a half pounder. Yeah. Hey. He'll probably get cut from the video. You are wearing the drum out. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the Helgamite for a little bit. Dude, I'm getting so hungry. Oh, man. I'm done fishing for the day. Now, uh, I'm gonna sit down here, get all the rocks out of my shoes, maybe uh, splash the water in my face. We gotta get up to the railroad tracks, and I've got about probably a half mile trip back to the truck. What a day it's been. It's hard to wrap it up in words. It's just been incredible. It started out really slow, and then this last haul, we were just, you know, just catching fish. Catching, a, a, you know, Tyler caught a couple four pounders, and I caught a, a one about a four pound. Catching a fish like that is just awesome any day. Catching it out of like a creek slash river area is even more amazing. Um, caught so many different fish. I probably had, couldn't even put all the fish in here today. Just incredible time, that's for sure. This is kind of venture that is just a love to do. This is way off the beaten path. This, this was a journey to get to here. So a lot of times that's what it takes to really get to the spots that are gonna that are not getting fish a lot and can really hold good fish took a lot of effort to get to where we are but man it paid off today probably seven or eight hours of fishing total and uh man i can't wait to get something to eat all right one last thing this is one of those days that you live for it's just hard to replicate i could come here to the same spot again and not catch anything the fish we caught today were just some amazing huge uh smallmouth and lots of other fish be sure and check out tyler's channel he caught all kinds of stuff and uh, so I think you'll really uh, be interested in seeing that. Thanks so much for watching.